be sensible about this. Look, why don't we hand the money over to Flynn like we said we do in the first place? No, he can no have way, I told you. Oh, come on. If you're going to stay living under my roof, girlie, you're going to do less of the talent and more of the listening. If I want to, it sounds like it's you that wants me to oh, go. Ash, I am trying to protect you. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore because I'm going. I'm moving out. You are not going anywhere, Look, girlie. You, you are staying you, put. You can't stop me, Brittany. I've got best. plenty of money. You can't stop me. Ash, you... Cash I'll be out. out of your life by tonight. Cash! God! Hello? Ah, oh, good day, Jess. Not interrupting, am I? No, I was just catching up on a bit of housework. I'm glad you stopped me. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, nothing much, mate. I just, um, thought you might need some company, you know? You seem to be down this morning. Ah, just having a bit of a bellyache, mate. Don't take any notice of what I say. Oh, well, I did take notice, mate. What you said about the way I've been carrying on, it made a lot of sense, and I reckon it's time I straightened up. Oh, you'll come good, mate. Yeah, well, soon I've got another wake-up call when I went back to the palace. They gave me the boot. I need the room when Will comes down for the wedding. Oh, yeah? Uh, a juice? Yeah, please. You know, I um, wondered where he was going to stay. I was thinking about offering him a berth here, but... Oh, well, I'm quite glad you brought that up, actually, because I want to run something past you. Oh, yeah? I need somewhere to live, and since you've got a spare room... Oh, uh, well, actually, I, I did have one, but... Uh, oh, come what's on, mate. We got him very, very well last time I stayed here, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing to do with that, mate. It's just that... I promise well, I'll behave myself, mate. I'll, um, you know, I'll, 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 I'll give you any hassles at all. Just, uh, just stick them in the corridor out there, mate. I'll get rid of them later. Actually, um, Kim moved in about half an hour ago. Oh. Right. It's not going to go into our rooms to pick up some stuff, but the room's great, Mr. Stewart. You better call me Alf, eh? Yeah, sure. Shoots at a view at the window. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, eh? Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, no, not at all. Uh, in fact, um, we might leave this and uh, uh, get out of your face, let you settle in a bit. I can't just watch out your coffee downstairs. So just... Mate, do you mind sticking that vacuum cleaner back in the room? Yep, no problem. Mate, you should be looking for a place on your own, or at least sharing with somebody a bit closer to your own age, instead of sharing with a silly old goat like me. Well, that was the main reason why I wanted to share with you. What, because I'm a silly old goat? That's a bit of a turn-up. No, mate, because you're stable and reliable. And I just need someone to keep me on the straight and narrow at the moment. You mean like a chaperone? Jeez, man, I thought you'd be a bit long in the teeth for that. Besides, you, you're looking at the wrong bloke. I haven't exactly covered myself with glory in that department lately. Let's hope I don't stuff up with young Kim. No, mate, look, you don't need a chaperone. In my humble opinion, for what it's worth, what you need is a new focus in life. Something to take your mind off your troubles, you know? Uh, once you find out what that focus is, and stuff, you'll be halfway to beating your problems. just tell me all about your stupid plan. Oh, the little idiot. Isn't he meant to be sick? Um, hey, Rob. Hey. Can I move in? What? Um, I've moved out of Irene's and I need somewhere to stay. Just, What's just, happened? Um, I was just wanting to stay a little while just till we go away. Uh, Tash, can I talk to you? Hang on a second, girls. Go away where? Haven't you told her yet? Told me what? About the holiday to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, with Henry and Maddie, like you always wanted. And Robbie and I could come too, right? I'm ashamed of you. How could you do that to Tasha? And what on earth made you think that I would go through with it? Tasha doesn't mind. She's got loads of money. It doesn't hurt anyone. Wrong! People are already hurting. Like? Like the situation you've created in there. Tasha came over here thinking she'd be welcome because she paid us money. She thinks she's bought a ticket into this house, and now I've got to go in and tell her she can't move in. But why can't she? So where's she going to live if she can't go back to Irene's? I'm sure that they will work something out between the two of them. 
Okay, whatever. Oi! You and I haven't finished yet. You can't treat people like this, Tilly. Like what? Taking advantage of Tasha's naivety. Begging from her. I didn't beg. She offered. Well, she did. Ah, whatever. You took advantage of her generosity for your own end. That is so wrong. Everyone else is doing it. And I didn't just do it for me. I did it for Henry and for you. I thought you'd be grateful for a holiday after everything you've been through. Now, you are really pushing your luck. You haven't heard the end of this. No, I've got to go in there and I've got to tell Tasha the bad news. Tasha, there's a few things we need to sort yeah, out. Beth, I can't go back to Irene. She hates me. Oh, she doesn't hate you, sweet. I can pay. I can, um... Tasha, can pay it, you. It, it, th that is a lot of money to be carrying around. Uh, it's okay, I can always get heaps more. Sorry? The Tash can move in, can't she? She can share my room if she likes. I don't mind. Uh -huh, I bet you don't. Uh, I'll ring Irene, and if it's okay with her, well, then we'll try and find somewhere to put you. But it's only temporary. Huh? Okay, thank you. This is for the first week. Tasha, this isn't about money, love. If, and big if, you get to stay here, it will be because it's the best thing for you, not because you can afford to pay. Hey, we can hang out all the time now. You will not be sharing the same room, so you can forget that right now. Oh, I know. It was a joke. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate it, love. Thanks. Bye. Well, looks like Tasha's going to be spending some time at the Sutherland. Well, Kanan, I knew she wasn't going to be happy with me, but I really thought that I could get through to her. You know, I thought that I could make her understand. She probably just needs some time to cool off, that's all. Yeah. Well, at least she picks somewhere safe to go anyway. Beth will keep an eye on her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she'll need to. Oh. Her and Robbie in the same house can be all over each other. Oh, God, save us. I didn't even think of that. Another coffee, thanks, Alf. Um, I'll pay this time. Well, you seem a bit brighter. You found somewhere to crash, have you? Better than that. I, um... I took your advice and I had a long, hard think about my life. And I've come up with the obvious solution. Staring me in the face all along. If this doesn't settle me down, I think will. All right. Oh, bite. What's the deal? Post is mid. Oh, thanks, Doc. Now, I think I've packed everything you need, but you better check. Yep, thanks. So, what do we got here? Bills, bills. More bills, no doubt. Hmm. There's one here for Tash. From the States. From Duncan. Sure is. <laughs> Didn't think the little creep would keep his word. And uh, what word would that be? Hey, come on, spit it out. No, it's nothing. Love, Tash has landed herself in a spot of bother now. If you know anything, anything at all that's going to help me to help her. Well, it's just Duncan took this letter that belonged to Tash and promised he'd send it back once he got to the States, so must be it. This would be the letter from Angie, right? The one telling her who her dad is? Dunno. And would I be wrong in saying that that rat Duncan has twisted Tasha's arm to get his fare to the States? Love, it's okay. You haven't dobbed anyone in. I already knew about the letter. I just don't know what's in it. Well, I don't know what it says either. I'm pretty sure no one does except Tash. Yeah, well, she ain't telling anyone and Duncan's 10,000 k's away. Uh, no, it's none of my business, but I'm pretty sure Tash wouldn't want you to open it. Mm. Well, I reckon the answers to a lot of things are in here. Oh, God, it's like being in the movies, isn't it? To wake up the red wire or the blue wire so the bomb doesn't explode.